Whether it's a new show or a new season of a show that premiered in 2021, Netflix continues to show its dominance when it comes to putting out shows for audiences to binge watch. So in this video, we will be going over the 10 best 2021 Netflix TV series to binge watch now. You'll want to stick around to see which shows managed to take over the world upon their release. Before we dive in, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let us know in the comments what Netflix series of 2021 were your favorite. Let's get started. Midnight Mass Old, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and they were afraid. Have faith, brothers and sisters. I would not make you see what you have seen. I would not ask you to choose what you may choose without first showing you. We start off with the best horror show of 2021 in Midnight Mass. Set in a fishing community on a small island, the series revolves around the town's new young priest, Father Paul, who is able to perform miracles such as allowing the blind to see and a wheelchair-bound girl to walk. Do it. Come on. What is wrong with you? Stop it. It's not funny. The massive draw of the show is the mystery surrounding ominous events that begin to happen to the people on the island that make you start to question who exactly Paul is and how he got such power. Mike Flanagan, who also made The Haunting of Hill House, did a great job of incorporating the supernatural to highlight the point of the show being that religion can be used for good, but it can also be weaponized against the faithful. Never Have I Ever Upon its release in 2020, Never Have I Ever surprisingly became one of the best and most popular teen shows on the platform. Davey, the only person you're seeing is your therapist because you went straight up psycho You can walk for three months. Oh yeah? Well, I won't be able to walk again tomorrow because I'm about to go get railed. Peace out, virgin. It follows Devi as she tries to improve her popularity status at her high school in her sophomore year, which she believes can happen by losing her virginity to Paxton, the most popular guy in school. The second season continued the show's amazing portrayal of a teenager dealing with the typical teenage hardships, such as a love triangle. A text from Ben and Paxton? No people, this is not a dream. She'd never been cocky enough to imagine having two boyfriends. But it also carries on demonstrating the importance of a psychologist for teens, as Devi needs help coping with her father's death, which caused her to have a psychosomatic paralyzation during her freshman year, and accepting her Indian heritage. Not to mention the fact that the love triangle of Devi, Ben, and Paxton continues to get more complicated, and even more so after the season two finale. How to become a tyrant. Absolute power. Come on, you know you want it. You just don't know how to get it. But I do. There's a playbook. A series of tactics that history's most infamous tyrants use to... A six-episode docuseries narrated by Peter Dinklage, this show is a step-by-step -step playbook on how to rule an entire country like a tyrant. Each episode is a different tactic that one of the six most notorious tyrants in the past 100 years has used to control an entire country, such as Stalin's manipulation of the media, Saddam Hussein's elimination of any opposing party, or how the Kim dynasty continues to isolate an entire country from the rest of the world. Even though the show took a satirical look when discussing a sensitive topic, it is a necessary watch examining how these men rose to power and created absolute rule. Much of which feels extremely relevant in today's time, especially episode 4, which described Stalin's control of the truth and media. One of the most powerful tools that any leader has is who controls the information. When you can actually shut down channels for information, then you can press one preferred narrative and make that the reality that your citizens live in. Ganglands. This French crime series that incorporates some high action heists, gang wars, and betrayals will soon become one of Netflix's best series ever. When low level thief Leanne and her gang steal a duffel bag with eight kilos of coke, which resulted in her girlfriend getting kidnapped, she must team up with Mehdi, a professional thief with a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. As they collaborate to rescue their loved one. Unfortunately, the two are drawn into a violent turf war between two of Brussels' biggest drug gangs, giving us some captivating and adrenaline pumping gun battles.
With only six episodes, the story is fast-paced, with the focal point being Mehdi, who we see bring hell to Brussels all in an attempt to rescue his niece. From the looks of how season one ended, season two appears to be set up to be even deadlier and high-octane. The Billion Dollar Code a four-episode German series that covers one of the most unknown cases of intellectual property rights might not sound all that fascinating. However, this is right up your alley if you enjoyed The Social Network. German pioneers Karsten Schluter and Yuri Mueller are shown taking on Google in court fighting for their right to be credited as the inventors of the algorithm that the company used to create Google Earth. In welchem Jahr war das? 1994. Und wann hat Google Google Earth präsentiert? 2005. Wie können Terra Vision und Google Earth so absolut identisch sein? Like the social network, we are taken back and forth between the 2017 disposition of the case and 1993-94, when the two met and came up with the revolutionary software. Even with four episodes, the show sheds a spotlight on not just the pros and cons of pursuing one's dream, like relationships being ruined. Sag mir, wo es ist! Gib mir bitte nicht die Schuld dafür, dass die Sag mir einfach, wo es ist. In deiner scheiß Kaffeemaschine! But also how giant tech companies managed to take an idea from a smaller company, resulting in that company's death. Sex Education The most frustrating will-they-won't-they they couples in Otis and Maeve returned for an anticipated third season. Continuing to produce the satirical comedy and outlandish situations that made the series garner such a massive backing. Sucking on my like you wanted me, calling me all the time Like Blondie, check out my Chrissy behind It's fine all of the time Like sex on the beaches What else is in the teachers of beaches? Huh? What? Season 3 also incorporated new elements such as the character development for some of the characters resulting in them going from hated to beloved characters now It even managed to set itself apart from other teen shows by how they realistically portrayed the parents as complex and extremely flawed people While Otis and Maeve may indeed be the couple we want to see, after this season, you will begin to question whether or not that still holds true. How to sell drugs online, fast. How do you sell drugs online? Most of you probably already Googled it and realized that it really isn't that difficult at all if you do everything right. The hardest thing is actually to do everything right. It's no surprise that the third season of Netflix's most surprising German hit series was just as binge-worthy as the previous two seasons. The show revolves around high schooler Moritz Zimmermann's desire to impress his ex-girlfriend, resulting in him and his computer whiz friend Lenny creating Europe's biggest drug distribution website. Picking up from season two, we see Moritz and his group of friends go their separate ways as he takes on continuing to grow the company he believes he is CEO of. Season three managed to keep the same comedic yet heartfelt situations these teenagers usually find themselves in and wrap up one part of the group's story. Hey, I have a confession to make. These guys bought drugs. That's why we were in Holland. And they want to smuggle them into Germany, but I have nothing to do with it. Which we can expect to quickly change for them as season four has already been announced. Arcane. <laughs> The prequel animated series based on the League of Legends video game not only became one of Netflix's most watched series, but it may have also changed the way streaming services release their shows. Released as a three-act tale with three episodes put out every week, it gave us a look into the popular video game's lore, mostly told through the relationship between Violet and her younger sister Powder, aka Jinx. Whether it's Jinx's distorted headspace or the fight scenes, you will be left mesmerized with the animation done that was beyond anything any animated show has done before. Even if you have not played the video game or know anything about any of the characters, the series does a great job of drawing you in with each of the characters' stories. 
Season 1 left us all on a cliffhanger that has us impatiently waiting for the release of the already confirmed second season. Made Margaret Qualley gave us one of the best performances of the year in her role as Alex, a single mother who escaped an abusive marriage while also fighting to provide for her and her daughter as a house cleaner. Left with no other options for childcare, Alex turns to her unmedicated bipolar mother, played by Qualley's real mother, Andy McDowell resulting in them rehashing some old emotional wounds in their relationship. Like, you know, mentally ill, I'm funny. And who knows, maybe some medication isn't the worst thing. Oh my god. What? You think I belong here, don't you? Did you help put me here? Don't be surprised if you happen to shed a tear or two while watching, as you will quickly become attached to Alex. You begin to feel her anxiousness watching the on-screen counter of her total $18 reduction with every pump of gas, or dollar toy bought for her daughter, and pain seeing her put in some terrible situations. Because you're a cheap mother, I couldn't feed her, and I couldn't house her, and I couldn't get her off of the floor of the ferry station, so then this morning the court took her away from me. This was undoubtedly Qualley's breakout performance, as there was not one scene in the 10 episodes where she did not command the screen. Squid Game It's no surprise that the Korean series Squid Game is the top choice, as it became the most watched show ever on Netflix. The show follows a group of individuals all facing financial hardships as they compete in a set of children's games for a grand prize of $40 million. The catch is that the moment a contestant loses in any of the games, they are killed on the spot. As the viewer, it's hard not to become attached to some of these characters, especially Seb Yak, as some of them risk dying competing for the betterment of not just their lives, but their loved ones as well. With the overwhelming popularity, shocking revelation, and the massive cliffhanger at the end of season one, it's no surprise that they have already announced a second season, as well as rumors of potentially expanding the series with spin-offs. Do you agree with our choices? Check out these other videos from Idiot Box Review, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when a new video is posted to the channel.